It is Sunday evening, 5 something p.m. 5? 5? 5.42. 5.42. We're sitting here in the great room. Say yeah. hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> Fred says hi. Um, we are back from an afternoon of running errands, and we went to an October fist. October fist. October fest. October fest in Mount Angel, Oregon, and that was a lot of fun. If I can find a website um, for the October fest and for Mount Angel, I'll link it in the description below. It was a lot of fun. Cute little town. I can't wait to go back. Maybe when they're not having a big festival, because I think the town itself is really cute. Anyway, we are just sitting here chilling. He's going to watch football. I'm going to watch YouTube. The dog's at the back door wanting in like, you guys are home now. Let me in. Let me in. So anyway, I hope you guys have had a great Sunday. We certainly have, and I will be back. Good morning, everybody. It is morning. I don't know. Uh, it's Monday morning. I think it's September 17th. I have no idea what time it is. Um, it's er early-ish. Not super early. But I don't think it's 10 a.m. yet. Um, give me a second. Hang on. Let's turn the car on. Let's find out. It is 9.59, just before 10 a.m. Anyway, I need to go ship an Etsy order, so I need to go find the local post office. And I need a couple things from the grocery store. And um, nothing huge. It should be a nice, quiet day. I need to edit the vlog. I, think I was saying that I had some video to edit but I was gonna go out and find the local post office and get some stuff in the mail some Etsy orders and I think I'm there the phone rang while I was recording so anyway uh, so I'm gonna um, mail out some Etsy orders and a check to a contractor in California that we owe some money to um, for services rendered I just got the invoice today, so I'm going to try to actually get him the money this morning. If I have to, I'll buy a box of envelopes. I happen to have the checkbooks, so that'll work. Um, yeah, and i got to go to the grocery store. So, you know, exploring the new neighborhood. I'll be back. Hey, I can't say how much I love the little stationery store and post office that's um, like f less than five minutes from my house. I love it. And right across the street is Safeway. So how perfect is that? Not quite as close as my old house where it was, you know, like two minutes if you hit all the lights red. <laughs> but, but it's within five, ten minutes if there's traffic. Not, It's not too much farther. Um, and yeah, really great. It's not walking distance, but um, it, it, it's really great. And should I get in desperate need of a P.O. box for work. There is not only P.O. boxes available at the cute little stationery store and post office, but there's a postal annex over here by Safeway. Um, so yeah, very cool. I'm gonna head home now and get to video editing, I suppose. Maybe after lunch and laundry. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, September 18th. I almost said March 18th. 8.08 a.m. and we are going to do more moving diaries right now on my YouTube channel than vlogging because really my life right now is all about moving and there's not much else going on in my life right now or art. Um, I'm at a temporary desk in my art space with nothing in it while we're waiting to get the floors in. They're coming on Thursday I think. Let's see. Yeah they're coming on Thursday to measure. And then it'll be a few weeks after that before they come and install. I'm going to push for as soon as possible. Um, we're supposed to be getting some other things fixed, repaired, or installed around the house. Um, I have put off a week one of them that wasn't super, super important. I just can't handle any more right now. Um, between the getting settled in, getting used to the new community, unpacking, it's just enough already. Um, and the dog getting used to the new space, uh, Bandit is having um, an okay time, but we need to move his crate. We need to move his crate, because where it is located right now is keeping us up at night. 
and my husband and I aren't getting a lot of sleep because the dog is restless and crabby and yeah so we need to work on that like ASAP anyway I'm sitting here at my computer desk trying to get some stuff done and organize a few things and I should be eating my breakfast which I will do in a minute and that's it for the moment but I will be back so I decided this morning to go ahead and bite the bullet and go get my car smogged for Oregon State and then go to DMV and register my car and get my Oregon driver's license, hopefully. Cross your fingers, it all goes smoothly. <laughs> Holy cow. And I'm doing it by myself. I left my husband at home working. Man. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll be back. Okay, the car passed the smog check. Let's go see how well I do with the DMV. I'll be back. So yeah, I jinxed myself. I failed the written test for my driver's license. <laughs> Holy cow. I've only been driving for like 40 years, so you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm not surprised. They asked a bunch of questions about driving in ice and snow, and I have no idea how to answer those. So in I, half a mile, turn left onto Southwest Fishy Road. I do have a DMV book. I'm going to study it, and I can go back tomorrow morning and take the test again. So I'm going to do that. So wish me luck. I'll be back. So we are off again this morning to go take the driver's license test again because I blew it yesterday. Yeah. But we're going to think positive, happy thoughts and we're going to do it today. I've been reading the little book and reading the little book and reading the little book so <sighs> and I'll read it again while I'm waiting in the lobby or in my car if I get there before they open. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back. I passed, yay! And they punched a hole in my California driver's license. I get the new one in two to four weeks. I guess that officially makes me an Oregonian. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back home and maybe have another cup of coffee. I'll be back. Ready? It is. Is it Thursday? <laughs> I should know. I'm sitting in front of the computer. It's Thursday. It's 11:25 a.m. and I have had a semi-productive morning. I was able to get the flooring people out. They did some measuring today, so we should hear from the um, store shortly and get an estimated total and all of that, so we can put a deposit and get that scheduled on the books and. I talked to the people who own the forest next door. Um, there is a tree that may be an imminent danger to the house, but they're going to come evaluate it and take care of it. Um, uh, and I'm waiting on an Amazon order. I had lost my train of thought there for a second. So, uh, yeah, so we are next to a forested area here in the new house which we knew when we bought the house. We love the forest, but there is a huge tree that's about a thousand years old that at some point was topped and may not be the healthiest tree on the planet, and it's literally right up against the house. Um, we knew it was something we were going to have to take care of when we bought the house, and um, it's finally um, going to hopefully be on the process on the road of at least getting evaluated, and if it's unhealthy, get it taken care of. Um, you just need to use the right keywords when you're talking with government, government people. So you use the word eminent danger to your property. And that gets them all hopping. <laughs> so anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. I'll hey guys. So this again is the view out of my art studio window into the wooded area next to my property. I keep calling it a forest, but I guess it's not quite deep enough for that. But it sure looks like one to me. It includes this gigantic tree that is more than 10 feet in diameter um, next to my house. It is approximately a thousand years old. At some point the top of it broke off. We were a little worried that it was unstable 
We just had it inspected and I am pleased and happy to announce that it is a beautiful, big, giant, old tree that is just fine. I love it, so I'm so glad to hear that. Anyway, it really it leaves a lot of stress and anxiety. I was very worried about the tree. So anyway, the school district owns the tree and we don't. They may still decide to come and take it out. It's close to the house. I don't know what they're gonna do, but it's not needed and I don't have to worry about it falling and killing me in the middle of the night. So anyway, and Steve is our little pet Steve. Can you all see him? I don't even know if you can see him. Our little pet Steve, the spider. He's eating his, he's been eating his little thing, he, whatever he caught for a couple of days now, but he's still hanging outside our window. Good on him. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, I am out in the early morning. It is Friday, 8.42 a.m. I think it's September 21st, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, anyway, I'm out running a hardware store errands and I've got to go to the grocery store and stuff like that so husband's home working and he actually goes into um, the office into his new desk on Monday um, he will still maybe be working from home one or two days a week but um, he'll have an actual office to go into which actually works well for him it's not that he doesn't like working at home but he likes the community of an office to go into so we have set up the new house so that he has a really good internet connection and both his computer and mine are hooked up to ethernet so we have nice stable connections but um, he like I said likes the community of going into an office so he'll have that to go into so cross your fingers it works out um, San Jose house is still for sale and I'm gonna put the link to the MLS listing in the description below if any of y'all live in the area and are interested in um, buying a new home or buying your first home or know somebody who is check it out um, it is a really good house we kept it up really well it doesn't need a lot of work it's move-in ready um, so yeah uh, anyway one thing at a time right all right let's hit into Home Depot good morning everybody it is Saturday uh, good morning hello it's after lunch I never know what time it is <laughs> It's after lunch. I just, this second before I turned the camera on, asked my mom what day it was because I knew what day of the week, but not the date. So, you know, priorities, I guess. It's not one of mine. <laughs> anyway, we are here at the house doing Time some DIY. is very irrelevant anyway. <laughs> right? We're here at the house doing some DIY. Mom and dad came down uh, from where they live to help out. And I just thought I'd share with you a pretty special picture. We did keep in mind just re -cock the kitchen sink and the counter in the kitchen and we're really hoping dad doesn't <laughs> put his feet in it hang That's on dad. there he is feet in the sink putting in the under cabinet light it just goes to show that no matter how old you are you can still do stuff because hello he's like 80 years old so you know <laughs> and he's got black pants on the the I think the caulking is almond colored. It's very light. We're really hoping he doesn't get it on his clothes. Anyway, that's it for the moment. We'll be back. I should mention that my dad is doing electrical work, but Bob has to help him because Flo, dad is colorblind. <laughs> Stuff that in here. <laughs> no, anyway. Let's just hope he does it correctly and we don't flip you the switch to, and things light on fire. Pictures, <laughs> Let's just hope. I think they are. this direction because if I try to show you my face I'm just sitting in the dark and you look at a black screen it's really not that interesting we are headed home from a nice dinner out with family on Saturday evening to celebrate uh, Bob aka Fred's birthday my 
daughter, our daughter Rebecca's birthday, um, and my parents' wedding anniversary. So that was really nice. Yeah, it was and very nice. Yeah, we had a really good evening. Uh -huh. So we're headed home now. Katie, don't forget Katie's birthday. Oh yeah, and Katie's birthday. My niece Katie's birthday, which is in October. Um, so uh, yeah, it was a really great evening with yeah. family at a local sort of chain restaurants called McMinimins and I will find their uh, website and link them in the description below. Those of you from around here probably know about them. They're usually in old hotels or old buildings. Anyway, a pretty cool place and uh, yeah, I'll link in the website if you guys are in the area and you want to check it out, do so. Their food was really good. It was. And that's it for the evening. I hope you've all had a great week and have a great day. Uh, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. Maybe somebody else because they deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a question or a comment below if you have one. And that's it for right now. We'll see you next week. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. I really just felt the need to document our journey through selling our house we've had for more than 20 years and finding our new place, our dream house and getting that whole process done and all of the stressful and happy and exciting things that happen in between. So um, the unexpected to the expected. Um, it's not an easy process. Those of you who have moved, some of you way more than me know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't move easily. This is only going to be my third time as an adult that I've moved. And this is a pretty major one. I've never as an adult lived outside of the state of California. So yeah, it's going to be fun. We do love the Portland area though. It's a little bit colder and damper than down here uh, in California, but we do love the atmosphere up there. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the, um, comments below on the, this video. Um, if you go to the video description, any relevant links are going to be there. And if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments, um, you'll also find my link tree link, which will give you a list of every single place you can find me on the internet, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook groups, everything, Etsy shop, all of it. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the moving diaries and, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you'd like notifications of when the next video uh, comes out, hit that little bell icon. And, uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Everybody do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.